Look at oh, those. look at those. Oh, my goodness. These look unbelievable. We could start by, you know, having donuts we, in we our got, mouth. We got to start. These two ain't yeah. doing shit today. I'm yeah, playing. Yeah, you're yeah, playing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. You know what? Yeah, so that's it. The episode has started. It's an episode of The Shift presented by R2C2 and the MLB Players Association where we love to have these extended conversations with, you know, all different guys throughout the league. But today we have a couple of our favorites Adam Jones and Cameron Mabin joining us. See, this yeah. is good stuff, man. This is good. I got donuts right now. Yeah, exactly. So that, that's how you know the show really just lets you in on a little slice of life because these guys are just eating donuts right now. <laughs> right. Just in the middle of it, which means I have to do the intro. And I have been letting you do the intro. Yeah, see? no, that's the first one in a long time. It is, man. It is. Nah, hey, well, welcome back to the show, guys. It's good to have you. Cameron, I think this is your third time. Yeah, this is, it's been a minute, though. Yeah, it has Since been a minute. Game of Thrones. This, this is right. Adam's third time, too. Adam's third time, too, yeah. man. That's right. And Adam's just crushing donuts right now. <laughs> Stay hungry. Off the day. <laughs> Off day. Do you like Adam has a shirt of a, of a, of a burger, and he, he said, his, what was his first line to us? Would you eat me? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I need bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Would you eat me? Oh, my God. We need bacon, bro. You got uh, avocado? Nah, you, man, you, you so California. Up, man, yeah, you're so yeah, California. Nah, I don't like that shit. You, you can't put in the hell, no, man. <laughs> Wait, I'm telling you. That's what San Diego <laughs> shit. Jones got <laughs> some Mexican in him. Not, not Latino, nah, but, Mexican. No, when you, when you grew up in San Diego, you <laughs> definitely do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just get that's Matter part fact, of the culture. I think the first time I had guacamole was with this food. The <laughs> <laughs> mouse he made it, I think. <laughs> I do put avocado on my burger, Adam. I'm so I'm just you. saying, man, I, I, I love it. Make it's, it in avocado. It's, it's terrific. You could have, like, you know, a nice, like, spicy mustard as well if you like, oh, you, you know. know Prince got me putting yeah, peanut butter on there. What? He put peanut okay, butter on his okay, burgers. Okay. That's like cereal. And I tried that stuff, shit man. though, and it's, it's fucking good. It's good. Is it yeah, really? It's yeah. good. Peanut butter on that a burger. It's good. good. That's Pete. That's a Prince Fielder. Uh, that's too much. Uh, that sounds like something's egg, off, bro. right? Hey, there's a lot of different things you can do with a burger, man. Can, can I just tell you guys? Since CC's making crazy statements like this, can I just tell you? The other day we got a question from a fan when we had DJ on, and the question was, if aliens came down and asked you, like. You know, do you want to come with us? Knowing the pl this planet may be in trouble sometime soon, and it's not an abduction; it's something safe. Would you go? And C's answer was, "Well, it depends what planet." And I'm like, "This guy like has certain planets he'll visit, and certain yeah, planets he won't." Depends on man. where we going. That's guys. true. Like, no, I mean, true. if we going down though, <laughs> we gotta get up out of here. <laughs> I, it depends on where we going. I might want to go down. <laughs> Are we true. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> he said safe though. It's safe. He said it's safe. safe. If it's safe, I mean. I mean, you seen some of these movies? You know what I'm saying? Some of these, some of this shit, you don't want to. You know. I think they already got just little cities up there anyway. You I think, think so, so, man? They might. You think so? Hey, there's a lot going on that we don't know about. We should man. be a part of this storm in Area 51. <laughs> uh, <laughs> September. No, you know, uh, but you, you know, Carter's I love, got a whole map. Do, no. Do does he really? This little fool's got a. He signed up for the petition. He's got the map and everything, guys. That's he's going. Oh he's down. Gosh. I was he's already pra practicing my run. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let the first wave go and see if the government shoot him down first. Then, then I go in. Empty yeah. the whole oh clip on him. Oh, oh man, Have you, you know, you know, I love Joe Rogan's podcast. Yeah. He just did one with Bob Lazar, who is like the guy who used to work at Area 51, who talks about all this stuff. Like me just saying his name probably means this podcast is getting flagged. Government's. <laughs> Oh, yeah. this podcast, just, to, just to see if anything's going on. So you guys have, you know, you've all, Cameron and Adam, do you, you guys know each other as well? Because it seems like there's a lot of familiarity between you two. How long have you guys known each other? Since he got in the league. Yeah. 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 Since I, since I broke in, before I made it to the league, spring training. Wow, really? Call me over. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, on get over here. Come over here. What do you Hey, do your thing, man. Everybody, I can't even say what you <laughs> want exactly. So can't say but anything. he get, do your thing. Get you yours, know? man. So, yeah, exactly. What drew you to to Cameron? Black. Just so like, yeah, I started it. Yeah, and it, it helped. <laughs> 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 but it's a brotherhood in the same time, and you want to yeah. see obviously you want to see everybody succeed. But obviously, with the game being where it's at, when it comes to African Americans, at times you you know you just gravitate towards some of the black guys, and uh, you just you try to give them some words of encouragement, especially being older. And just like the Latins do, you yeah. know, you got to take care of your own. And, um, you know, when there's there's not that many of us, so we have to take care of our, of our group. So uh, it's not, nothing to anybody else. Obviously, right. we mix up with everybody. We got friends, all races in this damn game. But, uh, yeah, we have to take care of our own in a sense. And um, like CC has done it 
to for me who and he's had guys who've done it to him and it's just passing down that yep. torch that's uh, all it is when, when i first came up it was what how, what we have now as african americans in the in the game it, that's how it was for latins like you know we can be on on separate teams and if you see a black dude you like oh you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, man. But that's how it What's was up? for yeah. Latinos, you know, early when I first came up. And it just is what it is. You know, no matter what team you're on or, or you know, organization, you want to try to help and be, a, you know, help them out and see if you see it. You know, you, you share, you share the, the similar experiences, so you want to try to help them out and, and be there if you can. That's very – that's interesting, man. You know, when you guys came in, you, t- you were joking about that Amir Garrett uh, stuff mm-hmm. last night. And yeah. I, as I'm seeing that unfold, I'm just like – the, I'm thinking this guy's going to be CC's hero, and and sure enough, <laughs> I need a jersey. Ask, <laughs> hey, ask, well, I, and I want one that I can wear. Hey, I don't want no jersey yeah. for him to sign. Like I want to wear that. Bitch. I, I want, and I'm yeah, walking around. Know, I'm like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I'm like that. He needs his own T-shirt. Yo, <laughs> first thing I did was call CC. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, big homie, did, please tell me you seen me. That's the most gangster. Hey, I, I, he about like, that life. I, I about talk that a lot life. of yeah. shit, but I don't know if I would ever do some shit like that. Like, that was so good. That was, was fucking gay. That was so gay. <laughs> I mean, I don't, you know, it's only a few motherfuckers That's in, in the world that'll do some shit like that. Teammate of the year right there, bro. Man, oh, of the, of the like, century. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired, tired of this shit, boy, man. So, we hitting homers and y'all throwing at us. I'm tired of this shit. That was real. Do you think that he even, like, do you think he told his uh, his manager who was out there, or his pitching coach, whoever was out there at that point? Oh, uh, did you watch like, it? He definitely yeah, told. Like, I'm about to go and do something. And the pitching coach here. definitely like, tapped him. Was like, go, go ahead, and fuck him up. Yeah. Period. It's amazing. The pitching man. coach turned around and was like, "Hey, we better get somebody going." When I say oh hindsight 2020, <laughs> he probably should just let him throw at the next. Yeah, year. he probably should just let him throw at the next. Hindsight, year. he's like, "Oh my god." Pitching coach is like, "Man, I should have just let him, just let him go out there. He got to face that guy." A lot of reviewing that video and a lot of man. Because it started oh, with Pittsburgh yeah. anyway, oh, throwing man. at them. So, I mean, yeah, they, 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 they in the right. They pitch in. Who they throw at bottom? Well, I mean, I don't know. They, 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 they always pitch in. That's always been philosophy is to pitch in. Pittsburgh. Pitch in, yeah. That's yeah. always their yeah, philosophy. Yeah, but that's got to be, you know. You pitch in, you miss. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but you got to know how to pitch in. You got to have the right pitchers to be able to do that. You can't have guys throwing at people's head and shit. And guys throwing hard now. Hey, hard. So oh, we just got we just gotten something in Miami. I mean, yeah, the, the, one of their bullpen guys slide step in ninety eight. Yeah, yeah. what? <laughs> slide step ninety eight. Don't know where it's going. <laughs> don't and, know and where he it's ran going. In a wall, like it hurts. These people don't realize yeah. that it hurts. Yeah, you don't, it, man, it hurts. For it, we, I, right, I had to come back off you. You said this whole damn field. You got the whole you know, fucking field. Man. You trying to hit the ball right off me, cuz. <laughs> yeah, that that shit hurt, man. For real. Oh, gosh. Well, how about that though? The increased velocity in the game. How much tougher is that? made your guys' jobs as hitters in this game? Just knowing that your average pitcher now, I mean, you're, you, once you get to the pen, most guys are throwing at least 96, 97, and a lot of times a lot harder. Oh. And half off speed. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. For me, it ain't the velo. It's the it's the velo with the off speed. With the yeah. off speed. We, grew, we grew up hitting fastballs. We grew up going in the machine throwing 20 miles harder than you should be facing anyway. So you grew up hitting heater, but it's the stuff with the heater now. And guys throwing sink – 97 mile an hour t- sinkers and cutters and yeah. with the sliders and the splitties and, and you're gonna the tell me you yeah. go up with Chapman on the mound I'm like nah, let's just slide it right yeah now. you know no it's like and a, he's, but he's throwing it more often yeah right so what do you do to that because you like you got you got to gear up for a hundred if you you got to so what do you do exactly pray yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all you can do man that's all you can. So did, you, did you guys look, did you watch the the john boy video breakdown yet of the brawl by the way the, I, I, I just watched I it i just watched it i, just watched, watched, it. Watched, I it. just watched i watched it. the john boy the uh, was the one he did for when chu hit that home run and they hit the dude in the face. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. my gosh. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious, that bro. I just found that account. Oh. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, you know what's funny is the stuff he's doing, I, I believe, and I don't know how Major League Baseball feels about the way he's using the video and the audio and whatever else, but I actually believe it's good for the sport. You know, when you get, like, sort of the, that kind, those kind of insights and whatever, like, people – People get energized by yeah, seeing that, that shit, kind that, of stuff. That, that breakdown of this brawl is hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious. You got it. Poor, uh, poor Chris I'm Archer, like man. That shit is hilarious. Oh my oh, god, like uh, Archer, Archer getting just. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh, gosh man! I mean, you got to run into a fight ready see though. He, he, he yeah. seemed like he wasn't ready. <laughs> he wasn't ready. You know what I'm saying? Like Kevin Archer, he wasn't ready, guys. You got to know. My old buddy came off that mound. You 
you got to know he coming you, for. You got to be ready. You know I mean? He wasn't ready, man. Can, can you think of someone you've seen <laughs> entering a brawl and you're like, oh no, 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 they want no part of this? Like <laughs> over the years, like some guys who are like about to get in it and then they realize, oh no, yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm not gonna say it. his name, but one dude from Detroit. <laughs> Oh, yeah? When we got in that fight in Detroit, he wanted no part of it. And, and Tyler Austin didn't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted And that's fight. exactly what he was saying. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I only seen one other person like that. That was Nigel Morgan back oh. uh, against Chris Volstad. He was, when he jumped when he, punch. When he tried a Superman punch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've never seen anything like that except for <laughs> Nigel. Like, he want, some people want that smoke. <laughs> Nigel want to fight right Man. now. Man. Right we cleared right ben, yeah, yeah. benches with Detroit and, and one of their guys was screaming, I didn't do nothing. And Tyler Austin was saying, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> don't, no. <laughs> I promise you. I'm not, I'm not promise you. That happened. I'm not even going to guess. That, I'm not going to guess what that was. I probably could. That guess. happened, bro. Oh, my bro. gosh, man. When you hear Tyler Austin that, all of a sudden you're like, yo, that's my guy. That's right? my guy, you know, bro. Like, like, you respect those dudes. Well, I can remember even last year when you guys brawled with the Red Sox and afterwards, I don't know if it was Brock Holt or whoever, was like, man, we were in the middle of it like, Yo, those are some big dudes. I'm not sure I want a part of this, yeah, man. Like, yeah, we got some big dudes oh on Oh, my team. gosh. You really do. Yeah, I mean, it's serious. So how do you guys – we're recording on the trade deadline. This, this podcast is going to be released tomorrow, the day after the trade deadline. See, how about you? you you've been through the experience as a, as, a, as a player on a team acquiring guys many times, and you've also been the guy who moves around this time. I don't know if it was deadline day or a couple no, days it was, before. It was, it was like Milwaukee. three weeks before. Okay, all right, sounds good. But, like, how, I mean, what is the energy like in the clubhouse around this time of year? I mean, it's the same. You, I mean, you, you, you don't know what's going to happen. Either you're getting guys or you're not. Um, I mean, you're just, just waiting to see what's going to happen, just like everybody else. We, we don't know any extra information, you know, more than anybody else. We in there talking trade rumors just like everybody else. So, um, you know, it's an exciting time um, if you're on the right team. If you're on the team, like yeah. in 2016, it was fucking terrible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you're getting rid of everybody and um, you're just trying to figure out, like, what what are we doing? What's what's the next step? So it could be, you know, either way. You know, are you guys – have you guys ever been on a team that didn't make a move and everyone was real disappointed at the deadline when they didn't? You have, Adam? Oh, I mean, I think everybody has because you always want – when you're when you're playing well, you always want your team to uh, to improve, you know. And obviously, whatever how your record is on this day, generally is going to tell dictate what moves your team is going to make. If you ain't winning, all right, we're getting, we're getting rid of some salary. Like last year, we came here and uh, and somebody just uh, posted a picture of Will Smith when he walked in at, all by himself. <laughs> <laughs> the last episode because <laughs> yeah. we traded five guys away, yeah. like. Like that, because obviously we need to shed salary. So it depends. And it's like right now, what do we do? Because with Dimex, we're we in it. Are we in it? Do we want in it? And it's a, we, we only have one deadline. It's not like, okay, all right, look at me. That division is crazy. It is. That is crazy, though. You ne- you can, it's like you never out of it to the end. The Dodgers, yeah, you I, take it over. <laughs> but, but, but the wild card, the wild though. Wild card, exactly. Just, so, it's four, say, three weeks from now. We don't have that. We don't. You can't go get a JD Martinez like they did a couple years ago. Yeah. You can't go get that move. So it's like you got to go in. Houston all got now. Verlander with yeah. the second. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You can't do that. You got to go now or you know what I mean. So what's it stay on the pot? Was, was that saying? Or, what was yeah. Get off the pot of shit. Or yeah, yeah. shit is down. If, 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 the the if I'm the G, if I'm a GM ever, I'm, I'm always going friend. to get. I'm always going to get everybody. You yeah, <laughs> you too. <laughs> Stay off the pot or shit. Is, I think it's the new version, according to Adam. All right, Last chance, you get you fucked up every time. <laughs> but watch it like. Uh, uh, see, you're saying if you're a GM, you're just like uh, trading for everyone. Hell yeah, yeah. man. I, that's just me. I, I mean, I, I'm always, I'm always go all in. So. So if I'm ever the GM of a team, if anybody listening, I'm trading for every fucking body. Yeah. Uh, wait, do you the whole to, fucking wait, farm Do you want to be a GM? Do I want to be a GM? I don't know. If you're a GM here, you got buku money. Exactly. That's the, so I'm thinking about being a oh, GM here. Okay. Don't yeah. say if you're a GM in Oakland. Yeah, no. You then it's a different story. You, you, you might not get story. nobody. You're a GM yeah. in certain cities, but you're a GM here? I mean. You're a GM here. You can, you know. Yeah, it ain't no lim- unlimited resources. <laughs> <laughs> unlimited. See, if you had, if there was a guy who has a who has a no trade clause who you guys wanted, 
Would you guys ever, like, get on the horn and be like, hey, trust me, you're going to like it here? Come here? Like, I know you got a no trade, but uh, hit me up last year. We, we yeah. need, hey, I mean, no joke, on, we, we could. We yeah, need to because our locker on who it room is, is so tight. Yeah. We talked about yeah. our locker room so tight. And if you, you know, if you're on the other side, like for me, for, for, for years, it was like, Yankees, man, Yankees, Yankees. But if I would have knew had like yeah had the in, you know in the lock man it's like how you not you got you gotta want to be here yeah like, I would have shaved this little peach fuzz kept it quick <laughs> <You know, laughs> <laughs> now it depends care. on who it is though exactly. you know if, if the, the player but um if you know if you think they can play here yeah it's, you know it's hard to play here but Fact. um the clubhouse and everything everything else is good it's fun yeah it's just about mentally can you handle yeah. this atmosphere or not yeah. yeah. Cameron, how about – I mean, you, you've you been dealt at the deadline. You were even talking – I think people were – reporters were asking me about this yesterday. You've been dealt at the deadline. You know what that's like. Yeah. You know, what what is, you know, kind of like – if you're a player who you know could get dealt that day, like, I mean, are you, are you talking with your agent? Are you checking your phone? How are you going about it? You know, for me, again, I'm speaking for myself. Yeah. I, I got accustomed to it at 20 years old, so after that it was like, no, nah, it was – come deadline, if you playing well, if you're a prospect, if you – you know, one of those guys who don't have a lot of time. Guess what? You, every nobody's. Un, it's only a few people who untouchable. Yeah. You know, they tell you what they want to tell you. Oh no, you're not going anywhere. And then you look up and you trade it. You know, you look up and you wearing a different uniform. So, like I said, I think um, speaking for myself, I mean, it's a part of the business, man. And and like we said, if you're if you're going to a good a good situation, I mean, nobody's trying to lose at this level. It makes for some long seasons. Right around, it makes for yeah. some long seasons when oh, you just man. showing up going to through the motions, <laughs> going yeah. through the motions, yeah. man. So I mean, it's not always a bad thing, you know. So you get put in a winning situation, all of a sudden yeah. you might reconsider it, it, that, it, it, uh, exactly. Yeah, whether exactly. it's a bad thing to be it dealt with. Revitalize you. But he yeah. said some something else. I always say like you, you always get that lesson. Like it's a business. It's you know a what I'm business. saying? Don't Depending don't... on whether you get it at 20 years old, yeah. or you get it at 27, yeah. or 30, or whatever. 30, but you get that three. You get yeah. that lesson. That yeah. you know what I'm saying. That yeah. you, you learn that lesson. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Michael Brantley's dad told me, Mickey Brantley told me I was a bat boy when he, I was just working out. He was like, "Don't believe nothing they tell you. <laughs> if, you if you keep playing, you get drafted. Don't believe nothing they tell you." That was his advice. Yeah. Wow, man! This was you back got, when you were a bat boy. This is, I was a bat boy. You got three strikes. And your brother, you got two, really. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess you it got up. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you? Like, Cam's a great storyteller. No, story no, <laughs> no trouble. Exactly. Don't get no bro, trouble. Bro. That ain't even a part of what we no, can it's do. It's crazy. You know no. what I'm saying? No. But it's it's real, man. Don't believe nothing nothing you hear, man. Because it's a business at the end of the day. There's no loyalty in this game as far as amongst. You know, owners, players, None. Uh, you know, and it's not personal, it's business. It's just yeah. business. Like Nino yeah. Brown said. But you always, but you, 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 you always think, oh, you know, this is me. Like, oh, I'm, you man. Know, I'm, you know, I'm, Dude, I'm I, different. I, me with the Indians, oh, no, you ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? They traded Detroit. Jim Tomey. Hey, exactly. <laughs> you getting traded. <laughs> you get, you out of here. You out of here. Exactly. <laughs> let Manny go. Yeah, yeah. they let Manny yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. Your ass is gone. Exactly, yeah. man. That's yeah. how it was for me. 2015, oh, man, you back in Detroit, great year. I got a weird feeling about this. <laughs> <laughs> at the boy, two, two weeks after the season at the Boys and Girls Club, I'm like, man, uh, thanks uh, for everything you did. <laughs> we needed some pitching. We needed two lefties. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's the business, It's man. the business, oh, man. Adam, I mean, you said for you, like, it was this year, right, yeah. where you got that rude awakening. Did it kind of take free agency this year or the end of last year? When? When did it really hit it for you that's like, whoa, this you know, this is I a mean, different animal? Hell, everybody that's spring training, I'm sitting there like, I ain't got no rental. I ain't got no yeah, I'm just at I'm just at the pad, like hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm supposed to be doing something right now. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't called a union and say, here's my retirement papers. No, I'm supposed to be doing something yeah. like Damn. I ain't got no job. Then I went to Arizona and started hiking camel back and then still looked at myself. <laughs> See me, me and Edwin was together every day. It was like supposed to be doing something right now. <laughs> 10 o'clock in the morning. We're supposed to be doing something. Yeah, I'm going to Justin Upton's house every morning, hitting in his cage. He ain't there because he had his job. <laughs> 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 I'm like, damn, I ain't For real. It just boggled oh. my mind. I'm really supposed to be like, damn, I really ain't got no job. So, you know. It, and you I know. thought I hated spring training. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am. I'm like, damn. Damn. Oh. <laughs> damn. Missing them backfield. <laughs> but, um, it was yeah it was like, it was a it was business you know I guess how how things ended last year um you know um whew, 
I mean, damn. I don't know what the hell really, really went transpired on what was said. I don't know, but it was it was a tough. It, it wasn't a tough winter because my wife kept me occupied with traveling all that kind of stuff. But I mean, on a professional level, like you know, for 15 years I had a job. Yeah. And one one year I ain't got one, so I'm like, uh, what the hell is going on around here? And I know part it's, of it's part of the business. You know what I mean? And they say. So you always think that, you know, I thought I was going to be in one spot for a long time. I was there for 11 years. But business, transition, um, man, I really don't know what happened, but them motherfuckers going to But at the end of the day, it's business. You know it's what I mean? It doesn't matter how long you've been there. You know, if you're not, if you're, at the end of the day, if you don't turn out to be one of their boys, you're not their boy. And for some reason, I wasn't their boy, and I'm glad I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's business. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had a great, I had a great time there. Made a lot of money. Move on. Yeah. Mm. Does it get? Does it? Does that experience? Does it create some sort of like chip on your shoulder? Then see moving forward. For a little bit, it yeah. does. Um, and then you get over it. Like you know, like how we all sitting here, like fuck it. You know what I'm saying? But it, it does for a little bit. Like pisses you off. You know, and and uh, you know puts a little chip on your shoulder. And you know you want to work hard to show people. Yeah. Um, you know what what they missing out on. So. Yeah, I mean it, it does, and and then you get over it, and and then you find other motiva- motivations to keep playing. Yeah. He, I, I love this question uh, from Patrick McKinstry. He tweeted uh, at R two C two. Adam, we have our own Twitter handle now, Adam, baby. Yeah. So, <laughs> are you on? You're only on Instagram. Right, I'm Adam? on Twitter. I follow you, man. You, you don't are? follow me? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, uh, Five hundred thousand followers. Wait, what's, what you're, what, what's, what's your handle? Oh, look, Simply he's just went straight AJT to his Twitter now. Because like. I went to tag you today, and I couldn't. Simply AJT in the same. Oh thing, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Well, okay, be, yeah. No. I, I know because I was typing in Adam Jones. He and hit you with up. that. Oh, you call me. Wait. <laughs> oh. Wait, you got no miss You know calls. what, man? <laughs> Adam, that's a mistake on my that's part, right. man. I, I, I had to correct that. Well, now you can follow the R2C2 handle right, as well. I think Cameron's maybe following it. I don't know. If not, he's going to be at the end of this. Yeah, I will. But, okay, cause, right so this now. question for Patrick McKinstry, I thought was a good one to it. Who's the best player you ever played against that didn't end up making the show? See, why I love uh, this. Brian right. Cole for me. Oh, yeah? Um, he was an outfielder, played for the Mets. He was uh, Mike Trout before Mike Trout. He was an unbelievable player. Um, but he got into a car accident and passed away. Um, oh, my goodness. After spring training, uh, going to AA, he was going to Binghamton. Um, after spring training one year, I think it was 2000. But he played for the Mets. He was unbelievable. Cause, like, really? I mean, I've never seen – at that at that time, I had never seen a player like that, and it, uh, Brian Cole. Brian Cole, wow, that's fascinating. Yeah, I'm really, really trying to think of a name, like because I played with some really good players. A lot of them got like you know a cup of tea. So yeah, could even be a dude who you know you were growing up with, or you know I'll I'll expand it. It could be a guy who got a cup of tea who you were sure was going to be a terrific uh, Abercrombie. Mm. Oh Oh, yeah. yeah. That yeah. body. They used to six, compare, that's why he's four, getting, man. Reggie was a monster. Yeah. Yeah. Elijah yeah. Dukes. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Those were guys who you thought for sure. I mean, Abercrombie just Abercrombie fit the, yeah. for fit sure, the bro. Big, strong, just fast. Mm, everything. everything you want. Yeah, everything you wanted in an athlete. To, but he was a, he was a linebacker playing baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Miller, you remember Jay, Jay Miller? Miller? He went back to go play linebacker. Did he? Yeah, yeah he went back to I remember Alabama. Jay Miller. Yeah. yeah, Jay Miller. I played with Jay Miller. Oh, he was a freak. Is, is that the freak. guy you would think of, Cameron? Who you thought? Uh, as far as just yeah, athleticism. Jay Miller was it was scary. It yeah, was, Michael Taylor. Yeah, Michael you remember Taylor. Michael yeah. Taylor? Big I mean, boy. He was a monster coming through youth and perfect game. Yeah, and yeah. I played with a dude named Mike Hernandez from Brooklyn. Uh, Otto knows him. Maybe the best hitter. Just pure hitter I ever played with. Really? I don't. I don't think he had a position. And he signed <laughs> with the Oklahoma sign. I was like one of those like come in on a Sunday and try out. It. You know, like <laughs> you know, like the re- like regular people off the street. And yeah. he, and they signed him, and he <laughs> ended up making like double A, hitting three hundred everywhere. Wow, Best hitter wow. I ever ever played with. <laughs> wow, man. Just didn't have a position. Right. Nasty. See, I love these kind of stories because it's amazing, right? The guys who maybe have the ability, the talent, whatever, and it just doesn't work out mm-hmm. for one reason or another. It doesn't. Baseball's happen. hard, man. A lot of shit. You gotta, you know, you gotta be lucky. A lot of shit gotta go right for Sometimes you. A lot, you of get ch- a lot of chance too. I remember Eric Duncan. Yeah, man. He got drafted oh, by this by yeah. the Yankees. Yes, he did. And who did the Yankees go get in 04? A Rod. A Rod, yeah, no. that's true. Yeah. You ain't playing it. You ain't playing third base. No, you ain't gonna so be the third base. So what do you do? Yeah. yeah. What do you do? You're the first round pick and you just go get A Rod. 
You basically going you basically playing for other, all twenty nine other teams. How many yeah. years? That's Ron what everybody. Howard that's got what everybody stuck in AAA anyway. hitting forty homers. Like behind four, Tony. like what four years behind in AAA hitting thirty Tony. forty homers. Yeah, yeah, man. Sometimes you just sometimes yeah. you delayed and then you're like damn three hundred homers right damn. here. <laughs> yeah, 27, 27, 28 four at that years. time. You know? Well, yeah. think, I mean, think about even guys on on your team right now, right? Who who have gotten chances and taken off, like a Luke Voigt or mm-hmm. or uh, Geo. Yeah, Geo or Geo, right? Yeah. I mean, these guys just didn't really have consistent playing time. Now they're getting. And all of a sudden they produce, you yeah. know, and a lot of times it's your circumstances, Sometimes right? Certain injuries. Yeah. I mean, you guys are in first place, and Stanton's got what twelve at bats this year, yeah. something like that. It's yeah. crazy. Just imagine man. when Big Black come back, R- right? So I mean, there's some of his chance. I got called up. Um, Jeremy Reed broke his finger or broke his thumb. Then since you get called up, they say he can play center field. Then they called me up. I'm 20. I'm like, uh, hell yeah, I'm coming. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. It's all some of it's just chance. The organizations you're in. Yeah. Like if you was a shortstop in this organization from '95 all the way to 2014, <laughs> you done. You yeah. might need to go play another position. Robinson Cano was a shortstop. Uh, Soriano was a shortstop. Yeah. Now nah, you're going somewhere else. You know what I mean so? Circumstances. Sometimes you just. I remember when I signed a six-year deal in Baltimore. I told uh, the, all the minor league center fielders, "Y'all better switch positions." Go play right. Go play right. First. I don't give a what they tell you. What I, I, tell you, what yeah. I, I don't give a fuck hey. what they tell you. <laughs> I told them. No, I told them. Oh, hey, I'm going to DR to play first, guys. <laughs> I'm going to play winter ball this year. Yeah. I might, and I might start start, start throwing left handed too. <laughs> so, <laughs> that is tremendous. Oh, How about uh, Craig Weller wants to know? He says, "I loved Cameron's diving at the finish line tape at home plate the other night. Where'd you get that from?" Usain Bolt, man, <laughs> <laughs> hit the finish line. But like you said, I guess it looked look like the Area Fifty One thing, so. <laughs> Naruto, or whatever that is, the anime. Okay, the nice, anime. Uh, very good. Jason Edwards, uh, J Log seventy six tweets. Do you guys ever think MLB will allow a broadcast of a game with foul language to happen on a streaming service that usually allows that kind of thing? Because I'd watch the shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> they should. Right? Why not? Yeah. CC going to be the first I'll one. I'll be the first one to do that shit. <laughs> like, what's the name? What, uh, Kevin Garnett's? Eight yeah, was yeah. Oh, yeah. 21. Yeah. 21. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. He don't, I mean, they say damn and hell. You know, that Charles Barkley. Yeah. Charles Barkley been doing it for years now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's no TNT. Yeah. But if they just do a streaming, like if they just did stream, a, a, yeah. a, a game, yeah. 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 I think the, you could the zone. That's why I, yeah. think, like, I think. I think. I think people would love that. Yeah. People would love it. They love the hum- the humanity in it. But you would have. To, I think. I feel like you. Uh, they, you would have to get the microphone from the field too, so you can hear what people saying on the field. Oh, that'd be great. You know I'm, what I'm saying? I'm so against that. Though. So <laughs> I don't want them knowing what hey. I'm saying. Man. Hey. Hey. hey, look at this. Uh, the word. When he when Boone went out there and said Saturday, hey, how somebody how made so much money off of that. Quick. Until quick. Quick. You say, quick. Hey, quick. There you go. <laughs> Savage. How much quick. money was made off of just oh. off of that mic? Man. That was a that Just was a, that. that was a terrific it was unbelievable. rant, man. Yeah, it was went, incredible. And that he was, did. I mean, he did a good job. He did a good yeah. job because yeah. I, 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 I was proud of him. I was proud of him. That was good. That was good. Because Rocco Bodelli came out in that Minnesota <laughs> series, and I was just very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> very, very disappointed. Sir, I don't know I'm what he said, but I can definitely tell what he didn't go off. I need you if you come out the deck, I'll go the fuck off. Oh yeah, good. So we had we was in David Bell, like how David Bell slid out. Go off. Hit the fuck. He came and. Slid like out. he was running the route, cuz. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Tori had one. The umpire, he baited him into it. He said, Tori, you got something to say? You got damn right I got something to say. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great, man. That's great. I know, man. They, do you guys, they, they, they did that to me last year in uh, in Toronto. If they bait you, you, you got kicked out I was doing the game. In you got Toronto. Out the bench. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sitting on the bench. You. Second pitch of the game, I just yelled something. He was like, not today. What the fuck are you talking about? Not today. <laughs> <laughs> Call the shit right there. <laughs> then he threw second me, pitch of the game. And then he threw me out. I was like, it's hot out here anyway, bitch. I'm out of here. <laughs> Fucking second pitch of the game. I'm on the Jacobs. Oh, gosh, <laughs> that is so tremendous. I love those rants, man. Rants, brawls. They're entertaining. They they're are, hilarious. man. Oh, they are. Funny. They are entertaining. Yeah. So I got. I know you know. You guys got work to do. So does Jack Maldonado, who uh, runs the radio broadcast. Maybe we got work to do. Maybben's yeah. got real. Yeah. yeah, you're off. You're you're off. I'm chill. But but Maben's playing today. Here, here's here's what we like to do on the shift though, because MLB players they saw what we were doing on R two C two. They really liked it. Players Association. They want to get involved. So one of the ways we like to end our episodes of the shift is just by asking you guys, what is something in the game right now you love, and what is one thing you would like to change? I love the competition. I think it obviously is growing. Um, I can't stand just how they're trying to change the game constantly, and the people that are doing it don't have to suffer through it. 
You mean like rule changes just or just, like the analytic yeah. invasion? The analytic or what? part, I get all that. I mean, yeah. obviously, you need to grow whatever game, and you need to get. I mean, this game is a billion, ten billion dollar industry. You right. better get everything out of it. I get all that, but just just trying to just you know, like next year you're going three batters, three batters rule. So you're basically going to tell me how to strategize in a in a game of mm-hmm. pure strategy. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't tell me how to manage my team yeah but that's just how the game is going they want to get the game at two hours and eight minutes so hey i help hell i ain't sitting out there taking <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad i'm on my way yeah, out that bro. 30 yeah. second shot clock up there oh, I, well, I, i'm glad oh, i got joe oh. garagiola <laughs> <laughs> oh they just gonna put a, a time clock right before you come in the locker room and we're just gonna start clocking in <laughs> <laughs> you know they trying to hey, man. That. i mean just, they're, 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 that's my that's mine i know you can um for me, I think the best part is is, is this uh, for me. R two C two. I agree. The, it is the best part of the game. You know, it's the, exactly. Black, you know, I support black owned. Um, <laughs> but you know, just the the relationship that you build right here. You know, C taking me out to eat and calling me, and he don't got to do that. You know, Adam always texting me, making. Hey man, I see you doing your thing. Keep balling. Little like little stuff. Like and I want to sit up here and lie. Like these dudes who uh, guys that I've looked up to, who I admire how they play the game and. You know, they constantly or, you know, or and I don't say constantly, just enough checking on me, seeing how, how I'm doing. So I value those relationships. And then, like Adam said, I think it's just uh, some of the stuff is, is starting to become too much. All the rule change, they, you know, it's not being implemented, but, you know, stealing first base. Shit, I, mean, shit like I would love that. to steal. Like, give me some more. But I wouldn't lie, though. Some, yeah. There's a couple of dudes who I'd be looking around. But it's just little stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, like, but just bounced that first yeah, spot. You know, I'm out. Brent, Zach Britton up there throwing sinkers. And oh, sinkers you know, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, like, this is the little stuff, man. You know, I, I wish, like, like, to me, the replay is a joke. It's a joke. Like, I, like, I can't talk about how often we like we're watching it and they st- and, and, and they still get it wrong it's just like for me it's just like, I, I, I still i can't fathom i think, I think they're I, afraid to show the umpires you know up so i just so it's just like why have it you yeah. know if that's the case you know what i mean no go we gotta get the shit right fuck showing you know, up the umpires you know exactly so if get we're not right. gonna get it right then go back to just the good old human nature they they missed it they they made it whatever but i just we we watched on our, against our team at least four calls this year it's just like well, you know, How? you looked at you the know, replay so and you know this should be the call. But, so replay, yeah. I figure, I think they need to do a better job of that, honestly. Well, guys, we could talk so. forever. Before we end uh, this episode of The Shift presented by R2C2, though, I we got to say happy birthday to you, Adam. Hey, Tomorrow, man. man. Birthday. Tomorrow's hey, a birthday, Adam. Happy birthday, Adam. birthday. <laughs> happy birthday Young man. Fella. Don't tell baseball Young my fella. age, man. <laughs> <laughs> 28 tomorrow, 28. baby. Oh, oh, my gosh. That's right. Name's Adon Tw- 28. You want this primetime free agent right now? Yeah. Go. go get him, man. Adam, have a wonderful birthday, <laughs> thank man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Adam Cameron, thank you for being with us yes, as always. Sir. See, we did it again, man. We did. We pulled did. it Another off. Another week. We did. We're always very proud of ourselves for being able to release every Thursday. It's like an all-black outfield right here. <laughs> <laughs> Soul <laughs> Patrol. <laughs> Soul hey, Patrol. guys, will you just tell the people to download, rate, review, and subscribe? We've been having Ooh, our guests end our episodes that way. Download, rate, review, and subscribe and to our C2. <laughs> and uh, proceeds go to CC's pitching. <laughs> <laughs> what he said. <laughs> well, it's free, but yes. Very nice. Thanks, guys.